Glyphy is designed to make professional looking diagrams as easy and intuitive to draw as possible. But one key way to take your diagrams to the next level is by including branding or images that aren't already built into the app. Here, I've got a diagram showing some of the types and flavors of tea carried by a tea company. Now, I'm pretty happy with how this diagram looks already, but say I'm pitching an idea or I have a big presentation where I'll talk through this drawing. I think it'd look better with a company logo and maybe some extra information. So first, I'm going to add that logo. To add a logo up here, I'm just going to do a Google image search. And I'll grab this black and white one. Save image as. Double check that it's a good file format and call this one Harney and Sons. And I will drop this into my special folder. Great, so back to Glyphy. Once I'm here, I can either upload the image using this images panel, select images to upload, and tracking down the image here, clicking open, or the even faster way is to just pull in your finder and drag and drop the logo onto your canvas. Now I'm gonna take a second to make this look prettier. I'm gonna size it down, move it up here, bring this to the front, and remove the stroke. I'm gonna change this to just say T assortment too. And I'll make that type a little bit larger. Give it an underline. All right, I think that looks great. So once you've either drag and dropped an image or use this images panel to upload, the image will populate here so that you can drag out multiple copies of it in the future. One idea for using this feature is that if you like drawing your ideas on a whiteboard and then you tend to take a picture with it after the brainstorm just in case a coworker erases it, this feature comes in handy. You can upload the image of your whiteboard sketches directly into Glyphy and then sit within the Glyphy diagrammer and translate it and catalog everything into a clear mind map or drawing. Another way I could make this diagram look really nice would be by adding some icons. So I'm gonna click more shapes and click add a custom library. To do this, we recommend SVGs, but JPEGs, PNGs, and GIFs work well as well. First, you're going to click to give it a name, and I'm going to call this T Icons. Here's where you can toggle whether everyone on your team can edit or only you can edit. And then I'm going to pull up my finder window again and drag and drop these icons into the editor. Great, you see them load in here. Click Save Library. And they will automatically load in in your left panel with all the shapes right here. This settings button allows you to edit, remove the library, remove it from your sidebar, and delete these shapes permanently. So once you've created this custom library, all you need to do is drag and drop shapes into the diagram just like you would use any of the other shapes in Glyphy. I'm gonna size these down a bit. And this icon is for decaf tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this icon over all the herbal teas, which I know are decaf, as well as the ones that we've labeled decaf in the diagram. All right, and now I'm gonna add this icon, which I want to be for some of the best selling or favorite teas. Size it down. And one thing to note, you might see it jump behind some of your shapes. This button up here is your bring to front button so that you can pull it in front of the shapes in your diagram. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you load in these shapes, you can't change the color of them once they're in the tool. So it's different from a normal glyphy shape, which means that when you're going to load the shapes into the diagram, you should make sure they're already the colors that you want them to be. 
All right, we've labeled some favorites. And last, we're gonna label some organic teas. Size this down. One other tip to keep in mind for shapes, you can tap a shape, hit Command D, and it will immediately copy that one for you. And we're gonna use this to label all our organic teas. This one is organic as well. So again, once you've created a custom library, you can manage it with this gear icon here. The other thing to keep in mind is that once you've created this custom library, it's not only available for this diagram. They're saved in your Gliffy account so that you can easily access them later. So say I wanna make a new diagram. I'm gonna jump in, open a new Gliffy editor, just say basic diagram. And in order for me to get those icons back in here, I can go to custom libraries and select this T icons option and it loads them in for me to use in a new diagram as well. So next time you're making a high profile diagram for a presentation or to share an idea, consider adding shapes, logos, and other images to really take it to the next level. It's a great way to add branding or create graphics that'll be shared outside your organization. That's a wrap on this tutorial. I hope adding your own shapes helps you get even more creative with Liffy.